In this video, we are discussing partitioning pattern example. So here, this particular video will be associated with one practical demonstration for the easy understanding of the implementation. So in this example, we shall be using the post links.xml to divide the post links based on their the respective criteria. So there are two different post links in the data set, the post links with the value 1 and the post links with the value 3. So let us go for one practical demonstration of the implementation of this problem and to know it better. So here is the demonstration for you. In this example, we are going to discuss another data organization pattern that is a partition pattern example. We are having the XML file that is a post links.xml and we shall partition this post links into the type of ID 1 and ID 3. So we are supposed to uh, make partitions. We will be creating two part files in the output that is uh, with the ID 1 and ID 3. So how to execute this one? So we are having slash input slash post links is the path in which the file is existing with the size 2.35 MB. So here is a, a post links dot XML. We have kept some of the rows, but there are so many rows are there. Under the post links tags, we are having each and every row consisting of ID, then the creation date, post ID, and related post ID, and the link type ID. So here we are having one, and some of the uh, also will be having some other values than one. We are going for this Java program, only one Java program that is a part post link MR task. So here we are having multiple inner classes. The first inner class is our links partitioner. This inner class is extending the partitioner class. And within that we are defining one private static final string that is a partition values is equal to partition dot values. So this is a final string we are creating here. And also the other instance variables like your configuration, config, string, partitions, and add a list, part list of the type which will be holding up the type of data string. And then these are the different instance variables will be uh, reference variable will be used here. We're going to override the method that is the configuration get conf, which is returning the configuration here. This is a get conf. Also, we are overriding the method that is a set conf. Set conf means set configuration. And the conf uh, here, we are going for the set conf here. So this conf, uh, config is equal to conf, whatever the input argument, partitions is equal to conf dot get partition values. So partition values is the respective constant string which you declared earlier. And now these partitions will be split. These are partition uh, values which you define the final string. Now these partitions will be split uh, taking the blank space as a delimiter into this particular list, add a list. We can find that one the part splits. So these are delimited is the blank space. Now we shall go and trimming that one so that we should not want to have any kind of blank spaces prevented and appended extra. So after doing the trimming, we are just adding it to the part list which you declared earlier. So in this way, we have just used the blank space as the respective delimiter, splitting it, trimming it, and then adding it to the part list. I think you are getting my point. So next one, you are going to override the get partition. So get partition is another method within the partition class. So here we are having the string p value is equal to key dot to string dot trim. So from the key, whatever has been passed as in writable. So this p value is getting initialized and the trimming after trimming. If part list dot contains p value, then return part list dot index of p value. So the respective index of the p value will be returned. Else it will return the num partitions, that is the int which has been passed as input argument. So it will return this num partitions. So else it will return the num partitions. So that we passed as input argument. Next, we are defining one other method that is the set partitions. So static void set partitions, which will take the job job and string str. So job dot get configuration dot set parameter values comma string str. So this is the respective the job configuration is getting set here. Now we are having one mapper class. The name of the mapper class is post links mapper, which is extending the mapper having got some uh, member variables here. So we are having this int writable uh, output key and also the map. We are overwriting the map method. 
So XML parts, you know, we are having one function. One function is about XML to map, which will take one XML as input argument and returns the hash map object as output. And that hash map will instantiate XML, XML parts, that is the hash map object. Here we are going for the string link type is equal to XML parts dot get. So link type ID. So from that very link type ID from the XML, that is the hash map, we are initializing this link type. If link type is equal to null, then we shall go for return. Otherwise, link type is equal to integer dot value of link type dot int value. So converting it to the integer, we are updating that one and output key will be updated with this int link. Already we have defined this output key that is a int writable. So now we are going to write the context uh, dot write that is a key and value pair. Op key is containing the key and the value is the value and that is getting read, written temporarily. We kept it under this try catch block. Here we are having the reducer name of the class is post links reducer. So this is a reducer class which is just we are overwriting the reduce method text values dot values. So values is iterable there. So context dot write value comma null writable dot get. So here in the context we are writing the key value pair here. So now let me discuss this main function. This main function requires three command line arguments if the length is not equal to three that is error. Three arguments are input and this is a string that is one blank space three. I told you that we're having this uh, type ID will be one and three and also we require the output output file output uh, folder. Defining the job which is the job will be name has partition the post links by link type ID that is a job we are defining also we are assigning the JOR class and then the mapper class already we defined the partitional class we defined set partitions that is a job comma argument one so argument one means what that is a that is a word um, that is a one and three so there is argument one and three yes now go for job dot set reducer we are just read uh, putting the reducer class there whatever you have defined already we have just putting that one and then we are going to create two reducers, two partitions, you know, we're going to have two partitions, one for partition with the uh, type ID one, one for another one for type ID three. So we require two reducers, two part files will be there in the output. So we are going for add input path and set output path with the argument zero and argument two input path and output path. So that is the input and the argument two will be the output path, whatever you are giving. Then we are going for set output key class set output value class set output format class so everything we defined earlier so we're just mentioning that one and depending upon the completion either zero or one will be returned so now we shall create the jar file so we shall go for the respective project and then go for the right button click as we, show, we have shown that one for multiple times then export and select the jar file name and the respective path click on finish and next and finish in this way, the jar file has got created. We have already created the jar file. So we were going to execute the command. So Hadoop jar. Then we're having this map reduce design pattern. Jar files is a folder and data organize pattern dot jar is a jar file name. Then after that, we're giving the package name. That is a partition pattern is a package name and we are having the class there, input folder we are giving, that is a post links, and this is the string we are passing, that is one and three, and the output folder. So as we mentioned earlier, so these are the respective uh, parameters we are passing. We are executing the command. I hope that we'll be getting two part files, one for ID one, another for ID three. So let me go for the output folder. So here is the output folder there. You can find that we are having this part file ending with zero, another part file ending with one. So two part files are there, one for ID one, another for ID three. So let me see the content. So going back to, back to the console again, going back to the console and we are going to print the part file contents. So here we had reducer two. So the command will be sdfs dfs minus cat slash will be going for say slash output slash the file name is part and then are then zeros and then all zeros will be there so five zeros and then presenter you can find that in this case 
just look at the last one there is a link type id is one for all the cases so that is one partition we have done we have done this data organization so one partition we have done see the last field link type id is equal to one otherwise we are having the id creation data and other things so we are having for the next one link type id is equal to three here so in this way you have, you have seen that how we have implemented this program we have discussed line by line step by step and so on we can delete the output folder as usual for the next mr tax to execute i think you got my point this is the command i'm issuing and this output folder will be deleted thanks for watching this video